quick tutorial on photo retouching. So first things first, let's look at our photo and see if there's anything that we need to change. A few blemishes, fix the eyes, make them sharper. Uh, this weird hair thing going on over here, and just making the face smooth. And color correction. Alright, so let's make a new layer by right-clicking and duplicate layer. And then first things first, let's go in and fix all the blemishes. So go over here on your left-hand side, click on the spot healing brush, and then basically click around. Wherever you see like a zit or acne or anything, just get rid of it. It also works good with um, wrinkle lines like this right here. Don't try to make your brush too big though because if you make it too big then you'll start getting into some weird stuff. Uh, there's a missed hair shaving. Um, is it right there? I'm going to leave some of them because you don't want it to be too weird. Alright, that looks good to me. So what I'm going to do now is work on the eyes. Alright, now the eyes are important because everyone always looks at them first. So just go over here on your elliptical marquee tool. And this is the easy way to do it. There's also a long way, but I'll probably do another video on that. Okay, mark your eye. And go up to filter. Sharpen. And smart sharpen. Now you're going to want probably an amount of 71%. Uh... Let's go with 55% and then your radius at 2.5. Now this is trial and error. Each picture is different. But we did one eye, so now let's drag this over to the other eye. Because the eye should be the same size. If not, just do it again. Now go to sharpen, smart sharpen, and the thing should be the same. So just click OK. Now the eyes are already looking better. Alright. Let's go get rid of this hair thing up here. So go over on the left hand side and go to the polygon lasso tool. Simply click around your area that you want to get rid of. Sometimes this works, sometimes this doesn't. So again, trial and error. Right click in the center, click on fill, content aware, normal 100%, click OK. Alright, so it looked pretty good, but we're going to smooth it out more. So just click up here and then drag around and do the same thing. And that should be fine. Looks good to me, but I want to bring this in a little bit. So go to Filter, Liquify, and Zoom In. Command Plus is the thing, or View Zoom In. So now just click and drag this. This is really fun to play with, but don't do it too much because it can distort the image a lot. Looks good to me. Random stray hair. Put you down. All right. So now that looks good. All right. Let's... um work on color correction now so I like the picture but I want to color correct it the easy way of doing this is go to image auto color and it does a pretty clean color but I want to go in depth so I'm gonna to go to image adjustments color balance and then now I'm just gonna play around whatever looks good to you this is all purely preference So I'm just messing around with the colors right now and until I get something I like. So I'm gonna, this looks good. Alright, that's something that I want and right now the color already looks better. So now one more thing that we can add to the eyes is a tool called the Dodge and Burn tool. Dodge basically makes everything lighter so you can change the size of your brush by the left bracket key and then you're going to want to click on midtones because this is about not so bright not so dark and then when you click on it it will lighten it up but I normally only like to lighten it in one spot like heavily because then once you lighten it in that spot it adds for a cool effect so when you zoom out or whatever it like brings it that contrast in right there and you can do it in another spot if you want but it really just it makes it striking all right and then go to the burn tool and then just on the outer rim of the eye we're gonna shadow a little bit this will give the eyeball the depth that you want it to have do it to both sides 
So now when you zoom out, the eyes are just gorgeous. It's a weird word to say about an eye, but as you can see, go from that to that. So it's really striking and very pleasing to the eye. Not too much, not too less. All right. Now you would say this is pretty much done, so you are good to go. But if you wanted to go the extra length, we're going to make the skin much more softer to get rid of all this stuff in here. And just to make the skin look very smooth. So to do that, just make a duplicate layer. And then go to Filter, Blur, and Surface Blur. A good radius is probably 5 and threshold about 15, but again, trial and error. And you'll see that if you zoom in, this makes... If I make the layer go away, you can see that it makes it everything soft and kind of blurred out. You can definitely tell in the hair. So what we're going to do is um, basically erase what we want to have sharp. So we're clicked on the layer, and then simply go around with the eraser tool and erase all the stuff that you want to have sharpened. Now I recommend doing this just to the eyes, eyebrows, mouth, and hair. Sometimes you want to do it to the background too but that's just depending on what kind of picture you have. In this case, I don't need to. All right, and definitely the teeth and mouth, because those need to be standing out. All right, and you can also use this dodge tool to whiten your teeth in some spots, but my teeth are pretty white, so I don't need to do anything to that. And also, um, let's get the eraser tool and do it on the earrings, because those need to be sharp. And this looks pretty good, but I'm going to zoom in. It's too blurry. So what you're going to do is simply lower the opacity of your layer. If you don't have zero, you can see how it doesn't do anything. But if you put it in the middle, it's about an even tone and looks great. So I'm going to merge these layers, and you can see the before and after. That's before. That's after. Let's zoom in and look at the same thing. This before. Notice all these blemishes and how the color and the eyes. And then the after. The blemishes are gone. It's a nice tone. And the eyes just look striking. So, I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. And if you need any other tutorials, just comment in the comment box below and I'll get back with you. Thanks.